Yeah, you look like you got it. Like you went through some. <laughs> Welcome back to Savage with Ross and Granny. My grandma was there when Eli Whitney made the cotton gin. That's how old she is. Let's kick it off. Today we are taking a little trip down memory lane because you don't remember a whole lot. We gotta make you remember that stuff. You know what I'm saying? I do know what you're saying. Because we've had so many crazy moments in the last two seasons, we wanna relive some of those moments with you and show you our best moments, our worst moments, and show you some behind the scene moments. You ready? I'm ready. Granny, this is your life. Oh, I remember that. Ross, oh, man, I witnessed that. I remember that. <laughs> I don't remember. What savage? Wait, who are you? Where am I? Help me. I've been kidnapped. Help, help, help. All right, calm, calm down, okay? This is actually just a clip show. We're gonna relive some of our favorite moments. Here we go. Welcome, welcome, welcome back to Savage with Ross and Granny. A show where my grandma's hair kind of just looks like a cloud. So episode one, we did in our hometown, didn't we, Granny? We did. Columbus, Ohio. <laughs> and we wanted to bring you to our hometown in a great fashion. So the idea for this episode was to throw grandma a granny-themed house party. Hell yeah! You working, dog? All right, Granny, are you ready? Turn up! Turn up! We had DJ 401K, Prune Juice Pong. Oh my gosh, a lot of old people, too many old people. Felt like a nursing home. What you probably don't know is my grandma is an absolute animal at Pong. I found this out when we did a live interview a few years ago and now we've been doing it everywhere and you just dominate everybody. You play like my grandma and she's dead. Oh. <laughs> You literally won that game. That was crazy. Real frat stars and you're just beating them. In season one, we had a lot of guidelines we have to meet, so we had to cut some of the, my favorite parts out of the show. Uh, my little friend John was hiding in the fridge and we didn't really show a whole lot of that, but we scared the living crap out of like 20 people in a row. Take a look. <laughs> my buddy John is down for anything. <laughs> they literally had to take the door off the fridge uh, in order to get the cameras and John in there. It was pretty intense. He loved it. He's like, this is casual. I kept FaceTiming to make sure he could breathe, make sure he wasn't a frozen piece of meat. Thanks, baby Jay. <laughs> Hello, how are you? Hi, good. Now I gotta give this to somebody else. Oh, thank God. God. <laughs> thank you. Have a good one. Another thing we weren't allowed to show was uh, John getting chocolate poured all over him. Had all your old friends pouring it on him? Oh yeah. But unfortunately that was cut. Enjoy a bunch of old people pouring chocolate on a dwarf. The night just went from king size to fun size. Yes. All right, let's bring in the pool. I literally had to spend 30 minutes talking him into doing this scene and then they never aired it. John was so mad. He's like, what the f Why did I do that? <laughs> I was mad too. I was like, damn it, I had to like put his life on the line. <laughs> How'd you like that dance from Big Mac Brad? I buttered a few rolls in my no, day. Damn no, damn How'd you like that dance from Big Mac Brad? But first of all, Sonny. So how'd you like that dance from Big Mac Brad? So you liked it? I reckon. <laughs> well, that was a great party, a great first episode. Lots of skin. Too much skin. Turn over so we can get your front side, okay? Okay. Uh, I used to do this for George Washington's butt cheeks. Okay.
the massage parlor. A little bit awkward. Not gonna lie, behind the scenes was even more awkward than what you saw. Are my knuckles cracking too loudly? <laughs> I can't, I can't really hear them. And it was really hard to get a, a real massage parlor to okay us like pranking in their facility. So we had to build our own massage parlor inside a, a random house and uh, they did a good job building it, I'm not gonna lie. The, the hardest part of this episode was roping the people in like, we're a new massage school and you're gonna, we're gonna practice on you. I'm not sure if I would get a free massage from a stranger, would you? Sounds like a good time to me. Oh, really? Honestly, that's like how horror movies start. You know, you invite someone to a random house and tell them it's a massage. So we were actually pretty nervous. John couldn't keep it together. He kept busting out and laughing. The what? This is the, the bicycle. Okay. okay. Yeah, apparently it's supposed to like revolutionize the massage game. Okay. And Miranda, who's just never done a prank show, and she was like, I could tell she was shaky. Let's see some nervous footage here. It's a nice man bun. Thank you. You got buns. Get some butter on your buns. All right, let's try something here. It feels really good. I can't believe he didn't notice. Do you remember when we did that massage video? I guess and no. <laughs> yes, I do, and no, I don't. How did you forget <laughs> that, dude? <laughs> This is how I chop my carrots. <laughs> oh. Yeah, my hands are pretty leathery. Are my hands too cold for you? No, that's fine. What was it like giving your first massage, like rubbing strangers? It was different. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. That is long as <laughs> It was really loopy. Oh, yeah. Yeah, uh, one scene you didn't see was me just squirting uh, lotion on Brad's body for 15 minutes, so let's watch that in slow motion. Okay, uh, I'm gonna grab some lotion, I'll be right back. Yeah. All right, here we go. And then the one girl that we, I was like rubbing both of her arms and Brad was rubbing the other one. Her reaction was so genuine and like so confused that like... Wait. What? Oh. What's happening? Why is that all over you? Coming up next. Oh, damn. <laughs> hey, Granny. You might have not remembered that massage parlor, but did you remember that uh, guy in the escape room? Oh, I do recall yeah. that. We talked about that at Christmas. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, damn. <laughs> <laughs> Every family dinner, we have to talk about that guy. Listen, okay. listen, 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 okay, listen, yeah. listen, listen. Ooh, Grandma got them good legs. That was a, quite an ordeal. We got the script for the day and we're like, it is to prank people in an escape room. How could this go wrong, right? We're gonna have someone come in, we, we go to the escape room, we know all the tricks and everything. So we had like a bunch of extras to come in and they didn't show up, but one guy showed up. So we had one chance to get this right and we got it wrong. My name is LaShawn Jones and I'm from Columbus, Ohio. I've never done an escape room before. I don't know, like old books and I feel like it's gonna be old. <laughs> It seemed like he was a very exuberant. No! No! Wait! Well, if it's, is it, is it moving? Do you know paint? Gosh, Grandma, it stinks. Something you don't see on the show is that Grandma's often farting. And she and she hides in other rooms and leaves the room and we're like, Grandma, we gotta focus on the set. And she's over there farting it up. I have to go over here a little bit. Oh, this bird. Why are you going over there and looking at the bird? You gotta fart again. Oh my gosh. Are you done gassing? No. You're farting again. <laughs> Come on! This is what they put this in here for, so you can wave the fart away. So in the escape room episode, she left to go to another room to fart. I thought she was going to find clues. No, she was farting. And the dude followed her to figure out what she was up to, and he got a whiff of what she was hiding over there, so. Wait a minute, why is she going in this room? Did you go in this room because you- I think she had to fart. Hold up. <laughs> yeah. Cross! <laughs> hey, Stop this! Okay, I'm sorry. And honestly, it didn't smell that bad. If someone's old and like, you you telling me that she farts, I'm like, okay, she's not gonna be able to control it. I'm just like, oh, that's the fart. I was still like focused time looking around. So it wasn't bad. It just, uh, oh, lady fart, like, oh. 
<laughs> yeah. So the worst thing about filming in your hometown is like, you might see these people later. I've seen a couple of these people <laughs> out of the bar a few times and uh, yeah, it's been quite awkward. Glad we're in New York this year. over a New York City tour bus and we're pranking some people. You ever been to New York before? Nope. You know anything about New York? Not a damn thing. Yeah, that's a wrap on season one. Trek on over to New York City. Season two, I brought my friends John and Sam and Chelsea and Brandon and then of course Granny. Episode one was a tour bus episode. We took over a tour bus, you know, we're tour guides. We don't know anything about the city, right? So we had to make up facts like to keep people entertained like the whole day because these are like three hour tour bus rides. We had the most ridiculous facts. Subway uh, tunnels were actually used originally for horses. More New Yorkers bite people than great white sharks every year. And that's true. Fact true check fact. me. Fun fact, that bull has weather adaptive and they do shrink in the wintertime. All right, good way to start. So here's a bonus scene you didn't see. Uh, me and Tammy staged uh, that we had broken up earlier in that week and everybody has headphones that are tapped into our microphone. We acted like we didn't know that they could hear us um, and had a fake argument up front. It was so uncomfortable that I barely could even keep it together. I was laughing so hard up there. Like she's yelling at me and I'm yelling at her, but I'm like having this fake argument for like literally crying because it, it's so funny. Hey, what's your name? <laughs> Brandon. Brandon, you are cute. <laughs> <laughs> mm, mm. Hey. I'm keeping it together right now, but you've been pissing me off. Mom, what's wrong? Do you know what's wrong? What's the deal with you looking at that one guy back there? Why you keep hitting on him? Uh, yeah, I get it. He's got a freaking nice smile, dude. Oh, uh, he's muscular, dude. Yeah. What do you expect me to do? You want to talk about you freaking cheating on me last week? You got to get over that man. And I swear to God. If you guys take a look up, there's a beautiful uh, apartment. It looks like Tetris building. Average rent, 9,200 in there. So find you, find you a rich one. That's what she does. Who's better looking, me or Brandon? Be honest. Uh, you are, Sonny. You're handsome. That's right, dog. <laughs> so this was actually the hardest episode in all two seasons to film because we had to entertain people for like three hours straight on a topic that we knew nothing about. You know, at some point we broke and we would laugh and literally we couldn't keep it together. Check it out. All right, you guys want to see some peanuts? <laughs> Empire State Building has its own zip code. All right, guys, straight ahead, the Roxy Theater Hotel. Um, that is where Lincoln was shot. Sorry about that. No, that's just a regular <laughs> theater and hotel. Nobody was shot there. I told you, you'd never have a tour like this in your life. Look at her face. Woo! Overall, it was a great intro to uh, New York City. Uh, there's a lot of cool things about New York City. They got great pizza, um, and they got really good pizza. That's, that's about it. And then it smells, and it's crowded. And they've got good pizza, though. Right, Granny? <laughs> got good pizza, right? I did. Coming up next. Do it like a lamp. You're flying away from what could be. We made this fake musical up called Ross and Granite Musical, and to be honest with you, I can't sing. You can sing pretty well, right? I've got the whole world in my hands. I got the whole world in my hands. <laughs> So this will be weird because we're holding auditions for something we know nothing good about. To meet you. Good to meet you. How are you? I forgot my name and I put my pants. Oh gosh. We literally just got to like play with people and mess with them and they would do, they were like puppets. I'm like, put marshmallows in your mouth. Talk to a tennis ball, make out with Chelsea. It was absurd. We had great reviews in London and we're really for, we're hoping for the same thing over here. It's been everything to me. You've taught me so much. Do it like a lamp. You're flying away from what could be. Granny's gonna be right up in your ear, blowing in your ear. My dear old Granny. Little monkeys, there's little monkeys that are gonna attack you now. Oh, oh, oh man, oh, oh, wow. Oh, oh. Little monkeys, oh, no. okay, there you go. So you really want to show her what you got to offer here. Really get into the kiss. Could you please pretend this sausage is a violin, however you want to, girl, just show us what you got. In 1965, she's virtually alligator. I don't know. Maybe, I've, maybe I'm a dictator at heart. 
When you're doing pranks, like one of the hardest parts is actually just not laughing and breaking your character. I'm doing fake farts. I have Chelsea like legit full on making out with people like awkwardly. You've got to stare off with Granny. Hold it. She looks like Rose from the Titanic. She just ripped ass. Okay. A little bit more on the mouth. Oh. When you're doing a prank show, like you don't exactly know what you're gonna get, right, Granny? Yes. It's like a box of chocolates. Four scum, thanks. The guy behind the camera right now who played our um, our assistant. <laughs> I made one of the people spit all their marshmallows in his hand, and he had no idea I was gonna do it. Uh, this guy could take them in his hand right here. Yeah. Just put, just spit them in his hand. Yeah. No, no. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. That's no, what he's no. here for. That's yeah, why not? <laughs> and he just had to go along with it. Like he couldn't be like cut, cut. He just went along with it, and he had just a mouthful of someone's disgusting chewed up marshmallows in his hand. I just couldn't believe how talented everybody was. Like everybody was like really good at what they did. There was some like very Great actors in there. You were even talented. You're a great ghost. Granny is actually going to be circling you, making ghost noises. Light, camera, action. Hey, you look at me. Let me see your eyes. Yes, just like that. Um, they should hire you for the next Casper movie. Yeah, it was, it was a fun time. That was probably one of my favorite episodes. We just literally got to see like talented people's craft and then also just make them do whatever we wanted. Great, great. Yeah, so filming in New York is kind of hard because people don't really react to anything. They're so numb to everything. Hey, hey oh, your money. stop, ow, ow, stop, help, sir, help. Dude, stop, I'll pay you. Ah, stop, ow, 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 no, sir, help. Ow. We did this little bit where we could see how many numbers we could get. And Grandma, you did well, but even people were turning you down. Hey, hello. Hey. Are you busy? Uh. <laughs> Hi, how you doing? I love your music. Can I get your number? What's up? Did I get your number? Sorry? Did I get your number? Your loss. Doing pranks isn't always uh, peaches and butterflies. Sometimes we actually piss people off and we don't usually air it because, you know, we want to show the funny side of pranks, right? There was a couple people that weren't having it, especially with me. Take a look at this person. Excuse me. Hey, do you know where the, the nearest subway station is? Where are you trying to go? Uh, just out of, out of the state. None of the subways go out of the state. Ooh. Do you know where like a sewer system is? Um, I, I know, it's just, do you also know where clothing store is? I hate this this outfit. Uh, okay. I don't know what the f you're trying to do, but uh, it ain't cute. Well, thank dressing you. Dressing up like you were in prison is not a really cute thing. It was going so well. It was going so well, but I just kept pushing and pushing, and then eventually they just popped. I'm in trouble. <laughs> It's pretty like nerve wracking for us to believe it or not. Like I was laying on a bench, like asking people to milk me. Oh, it feels good to let them out. You know what I'm saying? How about I give you a dollar to milk me? Think about that if you had to do that at home. Do you really think you'd be comfortable? And a lot of you are probably like, yeah, yeah, I'd do that in a heartbeat. And let me know how it goes. Cause there was like one guy that wanted to kick my ass. Hey, question for you. If I gave you a dollar, would you milk me? Milk you? Why? Why? Some of the stuff we have you do, if I did it, I'd literally be like in the hospital right now. You can get away with a lot more than I can. That's why we're good partners in crime. Boom. Uh, my favorite part is meeting beautiful people. It's just a happy, happy time. What about your your, your partner in crime. Do you like hanging out with him? I do, at times. Forced her to say that, but then she said at times, so. <laughs> I get to mess with my granny. I get to look at that fro every day. Little Q-tip up there. <laughs> Little cotton ball. If we get booked for a season three, I kinda wanna take it back to where you're most comfortable. The hood.
I like the hood. And Granny, do you have any advice for pranksters out there? If the cops come, just tell them you haven't taken your medicine. Just make sure whoever you're pranking it cannot beat you up. Grandma's gotta get a new grill on her dentures. Ooh, you've been only watching Savage. You've been just... What? <laughs> you've been what? Uh, you've been watching Savage on Whistle. Your whistle sucks. Ross and Granny, we're together. We're a team, dude. We're a team. We're so there's a fashion week area and we were famous fashionistas. I didn't even know that was a word. You were Iris Apple and I was one of your greatest creations. That was a beautiful burlap sack. Flawless. Dude, I love it. Oh, I love it. Thank you. Uh, so she's like, you. No, you're good, you're good. I don't really understand fashion, to be honest with you. I'll leave it up to you to make me look pretty. We look damn good. Oh my God. Ah! So at first we thought people would come up to us, but we weren't really like too iconic. So we figured let's take Kendall Jenner and set her next to us and people will come up to us. And we were right. Everybody came up to us right after that. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just kidding. Oh, I'm sorry, Mom. <laughs> we scared the living crap out of her. She threw her bag in the air. Oh my gosh, poor girl. I almost gave her a heart attack. Oh, I witnessed that. Boo! They didn't get scared at all. Son of a Boo! Okay. I swear she saw us too. I swear she saw us, but we still got her. After a long day of pranking, still looks so good, and we didn't get enough pictures of us, there's only one thing to do. It's time to walk the runway. Let's pose, shouty. Huh? Okay, Granny, we came, we conquered, and we pranked. We have one thing to do, work it. You're working it so slow. Work it, blue steel, old white hair, Granny, prune juice, nursing homes. Yeah, girl. I don't know. <laughs> Went well. Wow, Granny. Oh. It's a wonderland. I mean, just dead bodies, hands, oh. scary people, with chainsaws. We're doing some Halloween pranks today, and we're at a very big Halloween store. You ready to do some shopping? I am. We need some costumes. What do you want to dress as? A sexy cat. That's disgusting. A lot of weapons uh, oh, in there. Oh, yeah. Uh. Is that guy taking a poop? He's looking for some nuts. You look just like Abraham Lincoln. I once dated him. Who haven't you dated? He wasn't very honest. He cheated on me. Catch, Granny. Woo! 